Hello everybody, welcome to Transy Learning Physics videos. Today we'll be discussing about practice problems related to resistance in series and parallel. So let's see what all questions we'll be covering in this video. The first question, calculate the equivalent resistance between the points B and E and A and F. So these are the points B and E and these are the points A and F. In order to solve this question and to find the equivalent resistance, first of all, we have to take into consideration the current entering the circuit and the current leaving the circuit. So if I consider that the current I is entering the circuit and at point A, so it is moving here and it is uh, reaching the point B. This point is known as junction and junction uh, is a point where the current divides. So uh, as the current I is entering the point A and the point B, uh, it is getting divided at point B. So let it be I1 and I2. Now as the current is entering and it is dividing, so we have to take into consideration the Kirchhoff's law and that to the junction of the current loop which said that the total current entering the junction is equal to the total current leaving the junction. So here you can see that at this junction B I have divided the current I into I1 and I2. So I is equals to I1 and I2. Now we need to check that as the current I is entering uh, the circuit at point A, so the current I should leave the circuit from the point F. So let's see how we need to divide and we have to divide in such a way so the current I leaves the circuit from this point F. Here I have divided the current into I1 and I2. So the I2 current is flowing through the 1 ohm resistor. It will reach the point C and the same current I2 will flow through the 2 ohm resistor. It will reach the point D and the same current I2 will flow through the 3 ohm resistor and it will reach the point E. So at point E we have a I2 current. And then this I1 current will flow through the 3 ohm resistor and this current I1 will also reach the point E. So at this junction E we have current I1 plus I2 and from this junction the current I1 and I2 will flow through the 3 ohm resistor. So as the current I is equals to I1 and I2, so that means the current I is leaving the circuit from point F. So that means the way we have divided the current is the appropriate method. Now we will uh, take into consideration the series and the parallel combination basis that when the same current flows through the resistors, those resistors are in series and they get added. But when the current divides, then the those resistors are in parallel and we take the sum of the reciprocals of the resistors. So taking this as the basis, we will make necessary calculations to get the equivalent resistance. So first of all, we will find the equivalent resistance across 1 ohm, 2 ohm and 3 ohm. So as you can see here that the same current I2 is flowing through the 1 ohm and 2 ohm and 3 ohm resistors. So these three resistors will be in series combinations. So we will consider the resistance in series, let it be uh, 1 and this will be equals to resistance across BC plus resistance across CD and resistance across ED and we will take their uh, sum of the combination because uh, these resistors are in series combination as the same current is flowing through them. That will be equals to 6 ohm. So the equivalent resistance across these three resistors will be uh, 6 ohm. Now how the circuit will look after we have taken the series combination. So the circuit will look like this. This is the equivalent resistance that is 6 ohm which we have calculated. Now as you can see here that the current I2 is flowing through this equivalent series resistor that is 6 ohm and the I1 current is flowing through 3 ohm. 
as the current divided here and different currents are flowing through these two resistors so these two resistors will be in parallel combination so we will take the sum of the reciprocals so let it be resistance one that is resistance across BE so that will be equals to resistance across CD and resistance across uh, BE so on calculating here and taking the reciprocal we will get as 2 ohm so that means the total equivalent resistance across BE will be 2 ohm now we have calculated till here so how the circuit will look the circuit will look like this because this is the equivalent resistance of taking their parallel combination of the series as well as that uh, BE3 ohm resistor. Now you can see here we have no junctions here. They all are gone because we have calculated the equivalent resistance of them. So now only uh, same current that is I will flow through the 3 ohm resistor and it will reach this point B and the same current I will flow through 2 ohm resistor. It will reach the point E and it will flow through the 3 ohm resistor because we don't have any junctions here so there is no point of the division of the current so the same current will flow through uh, these three resistors and as we know that when the current is same the resistors are added so in this case the final equivalent resistance across the point AF will be resistance across AB plus resistance across BE and resistance across EF this will come out to be 8 ohm. So the final resistance across AF is 8 ohm, whereas the final resistance across BE is 2 ohm. Part 1 ends here. Thank you. For second part of this video and for more videos, you can visit our website, transelearning.com. Have a great day.